Hey everybody, welcome back to Love Always Adventure Often. If you're new to our channel, in this channel you'll find vlog episodes of our adventures and our building the schoolie. Uh, you'll also find tips and tricks around schoolie life and schoolie build, all of that kind of stuff. We're getting really close to the end of our conversion. We think we have about two weeks left. And uh, so a lot of the content that will go from schoolie building to schoolie living, which we're really excited about because then we get to move into our school bus and we get to travel the nation and we get to share that with you. So tips and tricks, vlogs, um, and mostly just creating a community where like-minded people who love travel, adventure, and school buses get to come together and have a discussion and watch some fun things. So thank you so much for joining us. If you're a regular Thank you so much for all of your watching, your commenting, and your interaction with me. That's what we that's really why we do this is so that you will interact with us and that we can build a community, help people live more intentionally, and just have a great time doing it. Today is this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, but I wanted to make sure we were well within the conversion process or well into the conversion process before I did it so that I could make sure that I gave some really valuable information. And today I'm talking about how you can save money building out your schoolie. So let's go. Hey friends, we're the Browns, Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure off. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Okay, my very first point is don't rush the process. See, when we find something like a schoolie life or, or building out a school bus, a lot of times we get very, very anxious and we want to be doing it now. I see it time and time again online, Facebook groups, all of that kind of stuff. People find schoolies, they get excited about the idea and they want to do it now. They can't wait to buy their bus, they can't wait to build it out, they can't wait to start traveling. Believe me, I get it. So my, my admonition to you right from the beginning is to be patient, especially in the purchase of your bus. I believe the number one way you can save money is by taking time on your bus purchase. Making sure that it's mechanically sound, the tires are in good shape, uh, that it's going to be able to be built out exactly the way that you want it to be built out, that there aren't major rust issues or other issues that would prevent you from converting it properly. I do a whole video on five things to look for when purchasing your bus, plus a bus purchase checklist that I will link down below. Go ahead, click on those links, and get the checklist, watch the video, and be patient with your bus purchase. There are plenty of buses out there, and there's no need to hurry with this step because ultimately, if you buy the wrong bus, everything's a loss. I mean, if it breaks down and it's no longer usable and you spent money to build, the, build this thing out, you're in a really rough position. And that's probably the biggest money waster I could think of when building a schoolie. Okay, this next one, I know from very, very personal, painful experience. Do your research on products and processes. Um, I cannot tell you how many times I've bought the wrong product uh, or, or materials. I can't tell you how many times I've done things wrong and had to redo them. From building walls, putting in the floor, uh, buying the wrong sealant for the floor that I just didn't understand what I was buying. Buying the wrong floor covering. Uh, if you've been watching our channel, you know my dismay and my mistake around the floor, which I think we have figured out now without having to replace it. But man, it was, it was devastating when it first happened. And so do your research, watch YouTube videos, uh, read packages. <laughs> One thing about building out a school bus is you've got to make sure everything you put in it can resist extreme temperature changes. It's not like your house where it's always air conditioned or always heated and keeping a good, you know, within 10 degree range. It's not like that. These materials have to withstand extreme temperatures, extreme conditions, movement. I mean, it's just a whole new ballpark when you think about building out a schoolie. So do your research on both processes and materials that prevents you from having to buy materials again, that prevents you from having to 
you know, go four or five steps back in your build because you did the wrong process or you did the process wrong and realizing that after you got it in and you have to take that out and then spend the time to do it again. So please, please, please do your research. Reach out to me if you have any questions. I love answering schoolie questions. I really do. Um, because, you know, we've done something here that uh, we're really proud of. And I love sharing that with other people. I love other people being able to, to go through the process as well. It's really a prideful accomplishment. So piggybacking off of that point, make a materials list right from the beginning. And here's why, for a couple of reasons. Right when you start your conversion, make as complete a material list as you possibly can. There's a few reasons for this. Budget, obviously you wanna make sure you're picking materials that are within your budget and you're gonna be able to afford them. Second is, if you have a list of all those materials, inevitably throughout your conversion process, you're going to find good deals on things. But if you don't know that you need that, or you don't know exactly what you want, then you're not going to be able to take advantage of those deals. You're only gonna be able to take advantage of the deals that are available when you're looking for that specific material. For example, long before we were ready to put the kitchen sink in, Katie and I were in a contractor supply plumbing store and we were getting some rough plumbing supplies and we knew we wanted a single basin, deep basin sink, uh, uh, stainless steel undermount. And while we were in there getting a rough our rough plumbing materials, Katie saw the sink, exactly the sink that we wanted, and they had it on a discount table because it had a couple of tiny scratches in it because it was a display model. And so we snatched that thing up for 50 bucks. It was a $250 sink, but we were prepared. We knew exactly what we wanted, and we snatched it up when we got, when we got the opportunity. So make that materials list and keep your eyes open for good deals. Okay, my next point is might seem sort of obvious, but it wasn't for us right at, at, at the start, is be resourceful. Understanding what you want, understanding how you want it to look allows you to look at our alternative places for your materials and your labor for that matter. <laughs> if you can rope anybody into free labor, do that first. Um, which we were lucky enough that family loves us enough to jump in and help and share their knowledge and all of that kind of stuff. But um, I'm, I'm talking mostly be resourceful with, with, with materials. So look outside the box. So outside of Home Depot and outside of Amazon, there are other great places to get materials. Obviously, Habitat for Humanity has stores where you can go and, and get a bunch of reclaimed material. And a lot of times it's just a little bit of work to either resurface it, refinish it, whatever, to make it look really, really nice and new again. So Habitat for Humanity, Craigslist, your local contractor supply store that like is a specialty store, like a plumbing supply store or an HVAC supply store, those are great resources. You can go in there, you can talk to them. They're really knowledgeable, so they'll be able to, to educate you on materials. But then also sometimes they'll have things lying around or things that are out of stock, or not out of stock, but are, are um, out of production that they can't get rid of and just that, that are better priced than what you would find at your Home Depot or on Amazon. So check your local contractor supply company. They're usually really, really good to work with. So my point is be resourceful. Don't just have one place you buy everything and look in multiple places before you buy one thing. Okay, on to the next thing. I grew up in construction. My dad taught me a valuable lesson when we hung sheetrock. He always told me, measure twice, cut once. This, I cannot tell you, I mean, this seems so easy, but it's so valuable. There's so many materials that we messed up that we had to rebuy because we didn't make sure we understood exactly what we were doing, how we were cutting it, how it needed to be installed, all of that kind of stuff. So it, this one's a very, very simple one. Measure twice, cut once. All right, my friends, those are my general pointers in saving money on your schoolie build. I hope they're helpful. I couldn't get too specific because I don't know what materials you're wanting to use in your schoolie or what your floor plan is or how you want it to look. If you have specific questions about anything we've put in our bus, please feel free to comment below. I read every single comment. I mostly just wanna be a resource to anybody that I can that is going through this adventure with us and we're building that type of community. Also, like I mentioned, there's a bunch of resources linked below that you can check out. 
Uh, there's a budget, a schoolie budget, a purchase list for your schoolie, a floor plan checklist, materials checklist, all of that kind of stuff. So go ahead, link below, take a look at the tool, tools that I've created to help in your process and let me know what else you wanna know about. I'll do more videos like this that are specifically catered to what you're wondering about if you're looking at building a schoolie or if you're in the middle of it. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. We can't wait to finish up our conversion, get on the road and share this journey with you. Please comment below, interact with us. That's absolutely why we're doing this YouTube channel so we can connect with more people that are like-minded with us. And uh, remember, love always, adventure often. Wow, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy seeing our videos as much as we love making them. Don't miss a single adventure or bus moment. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with everyone you know. We'll see you next week and remember to love always and adventure often.